The Supreme Court on Friday overruled a 1967 ruling which had said that Aligarh Muslim University is not a minority institute. The court has now laid down fresh guidelines on the basis of which a new bench will now determine if AMU is a minority institute or not. For now, it's a status quo. We are here in Aligarh to get a sense of what minority status means for the university which has a history that goes all the way back to 1875 when it was first set up as a college soon after the nine judge bench of the supreme court announced its judgment on amu's minority status celebrations begin at the university campus with students and faculty calling it a personal victory एम के लिए माइनॉरिटी स्टेटस इतना मैटर करता है जैसे एक इंसान के अंदर से रूह निकाल ली जाए उसके ही कंपैरिजन में कह सकते हैं हम अलीगढ़ मुस्लिम यूनिवर्सिटी का माइनॉरिटी करेक्टर है वो अलीगढ़ मुस्लिम यूनिवर्सिटी के लिए बहुत ज़्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट था क्योंकि हम लोग अलीगढ़ मुस्लिम यूनिवर्सिटी से ताल्लुक़ रखते हैं तो अलीगढ़ मुस्लिम यूनिवर्सिटी का लिए फेवर में बात फेवर में सोचते हैं और अलीगढ़ मुस्लिम यूनिवर्सिटी के लिए माइनॉरिटी सिर्फ ये नहीं कि अलीगढ़ मुस्लिम की जरूरत है माइनॉरिटी और भी मतलब और भी लोग इससे फायदा उठा सकते हैं ऐसी बातें उठाते आए हैं अब तक क्योंकि अलीगढ़ मुस्लिम यूनिवर्सिटी में तालीम के साथ तरबियत का हमेशा काम किया जाता है बिल्कुल हम बहुत अच्छे ढंग से देख रहे हैं हम इसको वेलकम कर रहे हैं और अलीगढ़ मुस्लिम यूनिवर्सिटी में सभी लोग को जजमेंट का वेलकम कर रहे हैं और ये जजमेंट हमारे हिसाब से ठीक आया है आज देखे एम के लिए माइनॉरिटी स्टेटस बहुत ही अहम है उसकी वजह यह है कि इससे हमारी बहुत सी सारी चीज़ें जुड़ी हुई हैं इसलिए माइनॉरिटी स्टेटस होना ये अलीगढ़ मुस्लिम यूनिवर्सिटी के लिए ज़रूरी था इसीलिए अलीगढ़ मुस्लिम यूनिवर्सिटी सुप्रीम कोर्ट में इतने दिनों से अपने मामले को कंटेस्ट कर रही है और आज उस पर फैसला आ गया है वी वेलकम दिस जजमेंट एंड वी आर मोर देन हैप्पी एंड इन अदर वर्ड्स वी आर एक्सटेटेड अबाउट दिस आफ्टर दिस जजमेंट एंड वी कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट द सुप्रीम कोर्ट व्हिच हैज टेकन अ वेरी बैलेंस्ड व्यू ऑफ द एंटायर एंटायर नेचर ऑफ द केस एंड Uh, and uh, going into the historical perspective and the aim and objectives of the university when it was established so in consonance with that uh, the supreme court had taken a, again i would repeat that they had they had taken a balanced view so we we are, we are, we are very uh, we are more than happy we are in fact you can very well uh, see all around that how the students are happy how the teaching faculty is uh, feeling relieved uh, because it had been there had been an apprehension maybe god forbid if, if, if the supreme court if the, if the supreme court takes a takes a other, 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 otherwise uh, other माइनॉरिटी स्टेटस का मतलब ये नहीं है कि खाली ये मुसलमानों के लिए आप अगर शुरू के इतिहास में भी जाएंगे जब 1877 में सर सैद अहमद खान ने इसको शुरू किया तो साथ में राजा महेंद्र प्रताप ने इस यूनिवर्सिटी के लिए सबसे ज्यादा जगह दी पहले प्रिंसिपल जो बने वो एक ऑर्थोडॉक्स क्रिश्चियन थे पहले ग्रेजुएट जो थे वो ईश्वरी प्रसाद थे तो ये सिर्फ एक ये मसला नहीं है कि ये यूनिवर्सिटी सिर्फ मुसलमानों के लिए पिछले डेढ़ सालों से यहाँ सभी धर्मों के लोग आपस में मिलजुल के भाईचारे में पढ़ रहे हैं If Aligarh Muslim University loses its minority status it will first of all have to implement reservation policy in both admissions and recruitment processes however faculty members have clarified that the university is not opposed to reservations for OBCs SCs and STs they said that the decision could lead to a decline in the number of muslim students enrolling at the university major repercussion would have been the implementation of the policy for reservation in recruitment and admissions and so that would have uh, affected the uh, educational and recruitment status of the poor muslim community we as part of the muslim community and as teachers of this university we want to very specifically clarify that we are not against reservation of scheduled caste scheduled tribes and other backward caste what we are only trying to say that muslim community the poor of the muslim community also need to come up into the main stream of uh, the country and therefore we wanted this reservation but we do not oppose any sort of reservation for obcs shul caste and shul tribe the fight for the minority status has been a struggle for recognition as to the history and the legacy of the institution and this has been carrying on over the last 50 60 years so this is not something which is happening right now Uh, and right now the judgment which has come out at least recognizes the right of amu to file for this status that they have every right to go and ask for this status based on the history of the institution 
So in a way, the judgment upholds the rich traditions, the legacies of the institution, and also recognizes that uh, the space exists that this argument can be made. Uh, Aligarh Muslim University has always provided education, when, uh, on an average, you'll find, to first generation learners, to people who are from the poorest of the poor backgrounds, from deprived districts and quartiles. But I can assure you regarding a couple of things. First is, the number of OBC students in this university already would adhere to the required reservation norms. This I can assure you. Tribal students would be represented to a large extent because th that would also be a part of the policy of the institution, existing policy of the institution. Uh, women participation across departments and in many departments, maybe overwhelmingly, there will be majority of women students. Uh, so this would also be something which would be there. The PWD, persons with disability, that would also be catered to by this institution. Uh, absolutely on, on all levels. So the idea that the AMU is not standing for reservation is not the full picture. It is about half of the picture. Now that it is a status quo, the university continues to follow the existing norms in recruitment and admissions. As Aligarh Muslim University celebrates its temporary victory in the Supreme Court, there are other pressing issues at the campus which require immediate attention. They include backlog in recruitments, absence of students' counsel for over six years now. For Naima Khatun, the first woman vice chancellor of AMU, these are the real challenges to be addressed now. You were with Faria Iftikhar reporting for the print.